Hello, this is General Frederick, and welcome back to a new episode of Hearts of Iron 3, their finest hour, uh, with the random modification. Now, let's see here. Saved games, Slovakia. Now, I'd like to point out that uh, I missed about 7 or 8 minutes of game time. Uh, I forgot to re <laughs> record. So, yeah. Uh, so, we're in uh, June now, which is a bit of a jump from the last episode, but don't fear, I will make a quick recap, just as soon as it loads. <laughs> uh, didn't expect it, oh, there we go. And uh, let's go into the game again. So, just gotta move my keyboard a bit, perfect. Okay, so let's see here, just gotta take up this so I can see what happens in the world. Uh, what I have done so far is I positioned all my units across the border here to Vichy France uh, since the There they are. Let's see here. They are drifting towards the communists. So, you know Just to be on the safe side. I like to keep my units uh, against the border of uh, the countries that will probably atta be attacked or I will be attacking them so we are building some, um, let's see, these are the tactical bombers, yes they are. And I explained before why building, uh, why I was going to build the tactical bombers, that's because taking out the enemy's, infra uh, sorry, their um, industrial capacity, which is basically where you produce things, are uh, tanks, guns, ammunition and things like that. Uh, it's very important to take it out uh, because I have absolutely zero technology invested into armor so I will be focusing everything on infantry with uh, infantry support weapons and that means that I have oh that means that I also have a very good air force to defend my units I mean it's not uh, I'd, I'd like to have a bit more armor but you know we're fighting in Europe and as you can see uh, it's very well foresty and there's hills and urban environment so you know it's not a bad thing to uh, it's not a bad thing if I don't have a lot of units I mean not, not a lot of armored units but um, you know it should work it should be uh, let's see oh oops I forgot uh, I um, I got an event so that my uh, descent went up a bit, so I have to keep it at 0 0.01 so it will slowly go down and let's build some more mm -mm. can I build a transport plane? Yes I can let's go ahead and build a airport ah sorry, not an airport um, a transport plane so that I can do um, droppings so that I can drop units behind enemy lines now let's see, paratroopers. Okay, yeah, we can build not even one. So, Brazil is no longer attempting to align itself towards our faction. And that is not good. Italy as well. Okay, you know some postpone. Okay, that's Brazil. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to look up. And Italy. No, oh, right. Those who control Denmark and a bit of uh, Germany. So, Tibet is no longer attempting to align itself, okay. They must do. Uh, Alright, those guys. Let's go ahead and speed up very quickly. It's a bit of a laggy, because uh, of all the countries that can actually build a army, you know, it, it slows down. It's kind of intense on your computer. So, technology improvements. Artillery, battle, and, and, and ammunition advance. Artillery, carriage, and sights. And anti-aircraft carriage and sights. Well, this I could have been without, but yeah, the rest is good. Now, I will be getting upgrades the next day. Yes, seven. Not so bad. Turn down the reinforcements. And uh, let's keep that going. As you can see, it's dropping down one per day, so that's good. We also have a steady income of uh, manpower. Ooh, engineers. Awesome. Engineers are just what you'd expect. Oh, let's see. Let's see if we can see them right there. They add support units. 
as you can see. Support units can add general utility or certain special abilities to a division to make it useful in different roles. Uh, they're also very, very good at attacking. Let's see, they're also good at uh, attacking against land forts uh, or over bridges or over. Let's see if we can find. Now, here we go. If you look at the uh, the province of Masir, you see that the adjacent province Kapatchevichi, Kapatkevichi, there it is. It has a. Uh, this is just a normal connection. Wait, it is Masir. There we go. River crossing. Attacking across a river. Severe drawbacks, but engineers lessen them. So you have to be mindful of where you're attacking. For example, this natural, uh, this, ooh, manpower it was. This river right here could prove a bit of annoyance. And so for example, attacking here into the province of Smolensk. As you can see, the river goes here, yes. And attacking through here into an urban environment, I think you'll get a bit of a penalty. So we should avoid that. Mm, radio technology! Woohoo! Our units have radio, so now we can communicate with each other. And yes, also, I forgot completely to add these guys. And of course, you are not in the first army, which it should be. And now we're going to position our units like this. Three. Oh, that's the province. Okay, my bad. Uh, you see, I've built rangers right here. There's two of them and it's not connected to... Wait. What the hell? That's the third corpse. Why are you attaching to... Second corpse? Are you full? <gasps> oh! Oh, okay. <laughs> My apologies. Okay, so these are in the second corpse and they're over there. This is the third corpse and it is a full brigade right here okay my bad a bit of um <laughs> these these uh, things can happen if you if you l lose seven minutes of game time uh, you can get a bit of get a bit confused if you don't check it properly okay so there we go now this looks awesome everything is lined perfectly uh, let's see these guys Ah yes, rangers. I I think I mentioned them before, but uh, they are basically well elite units. They get a lot of nice, as you can see, nice bonuses when attacking, and they're well, they're really they're really good at attacking. And uh, let's see, is this planes? Yes. Let's see. Do you get a bonus when you attack with the de uh, defend? Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, you get. Okay, yeah, you get a negative percentage when defending in with tanks, okay. Should keep that in mind. Uh, let's see, everything else is going as it should be, yes. 125% officer ratio, which is a good thing, because the higher ratio uh, you have, the better your units will perform. And we are wasting industrial capacity, which is not good. Let's go put down that, there we go. Not as much supplies needed when the units are stationary in provinces. So let's see, who's this guy? Lieutenant General Amos Brande, skill 6. That's pretty high skill. Ooh, Fortress Buster, that's a nice trait. Uh, that means they're better at attacking land forts. I hope. <laughs> Otherwise I'm gonna look like a fool when this is uploaded. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so now we're just waiting to see what happens. Um, there is a... Uh, what's it called? There's a... Um, ooh, dest destroy anti-aircraft. Well, that's... Don't know if that's so good to have. Um, okay, there's. it's only upgrading one thing. Okay, that's good. Uh, chip, ships and uh, things like that aren't going to be really... Whoa! Uh, really important. Arctic warfare equipment. That's awesome. Feeder, we have finished the research of Arctic. Okay, so basically what that means is that our units will now perform much better when fighting in a Arctic uh, environment. So for example, if we somehow manage to fight up, I think this is Arctic 
forest. Frozen ground. Hmm. Well, let's, let's click up here. Let's fucking... Uh, hmm. Planes. Where did you check? Ah, well. Uh, okay, so that was it for this episode, actually. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention. <laughs> I was talking about the... Um, uh, the condition that uh, that you put that you have in this modification, uh, you cannot declare war until 1937. Uh, that goes for everyone in the entire world. Otherwise, it'd just be a huge clusterfuck of people declaring war instantly as soon as as soon as you start the game. And frankly, that's a bit of annoying. That was it for today. A uh, bit of an anticlimactic ending again, but uh, you know we're we're still starting out. Anything can happen from now on. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you'll subscribe for more.